and I would, uh, would be talking very specific on my topic for today, uh, which is uh, demystifying cloud for business transformation. Hi, my name is Anuj Parathi, and I am CEO and founder of Sci Future. Uh, Sci Future, to give you things in perspective, we, uh, Sci Future is data center and cloud services player. We have started providing hosting services when data center was not very common in India in early 2000, 2000, 2001. At, at the time, we started providing data center services with the help of US-based data centers, uh, providing hosting services to customers across the globe and in India. In, in, in these 20 years, initially, when the hosting services were provided, things, things were very, very difficult. You had uh, problems, challenges, with respect to support, even with a, with a minor spurt in traffic of any of the website or portal, you, you were required and you were supposed to have a lot of lead time uh, upgrading the infrastructure and adding the servers for the network. It, and it used to take a lot of time. The support cost was extremely high at that time because uh, the remote hands-on support was required. And as the technology has been evolving in the last many years, the technology for cloud has also evolved with, with the start of virtualization. And after virtualization, the private cloud came into the picture, public cloud, and AWS one of, was one of the first players who started providing the cloud services to uh, customers across the globe. Then came SaaS, and then we are now talking about the serverless computing. So technology technologies is evolving in, in the period of all last 20 years. So, so is cloud. And, and there, is a, there is a lot of buzz about cloud. People are talking, uh, agencies are forecasting the size of the cloud industry is going to be a $1 trillion by 2025 or even higher than that. So wh wh why do you think the size of the cloud industry is going to be so huge? I, I, ho I hope uh, everybody of you over here knows the answer for that. The answer is very, very simple. Cloud is not just a technology, but cloud is, cloud is, is like, a, like an ecosystem which provides resilience, which provides high availability, which provides uh, reduced cost, economical uh, services, cost-effective services. You have higher security, better scalability, lesser lead time for providing the, the, uh, the solutions, the models like SaaS, software as a services, which are available on the cloud platforms, platform as a services. So many things are available, uh, available around the cloud, cloud solution, and hence, and hence, the si and hence there's, there's a lot of buzz uh, about the cloud, and which is, which, is for, which is for real. In these last 20 years, as the cloud, cloud has evolved, cloud has evolved, so are the businesses. Today's business, today's business, there is a lot of demand uh, by, uh, by the customers for provi providing better services, cost-effective services, highly innovative services with a, with a reduced time for the deployment or maybe for, for providing complete infra or the solutions. And hence, and hence, and, and hence there's a lot, the cloud, cloud is emerging as the time is passing by. Uh, you talk about the cloud, cloud services and the solutions. That you, whether it is uh, smart cities, which is, which is, uh, in, and you must have heard of a lot of smart cities which are coming up in this country. Uh, smart cities I, uh, would be using the cloud services for parking management, for the traffic management, and you, you see that uh, you, you get a lot of uh, fines and penalties which are, which are being. Uh, levied on individuals by when you are crossing certain limit, certain uh, speed limits, and that that's all happening on the cloud, with with uh, with with the remote with the surveillance happening on the roads. You have interceptors which are catching up the data using IoT devices, and th those devices, uh, those data is transmitted to the cloud systems, and this is this is what uh, the smart cities model models are. Waste management. Sewerage management, management with, with IoT devices, uh, and, and so on. Smarter grids you talk about, smarter grids, smart meters. There, there, are, there is a talk for smart meters. 
India, India with a population of 1.35 billion people, the total, uh, total requirement for smart meters in this country is around 30 crores. And all these smart meters is going to be uh, connected on the cloud. They, that whatever the consumptions would be happening, the data would be, would be transmitted to the cloud, as uh, the speakers before me talked about how exactly the IOTs would be uh, sending the data in the zeta bytes to the cloud, cloud uh, solutions and services. That's, that's what smarter grids are. And the benefit, and the benefit of, of that particular services is with respect to the reduced transmission and the distribution losses. You, you, all of you would be knowing about this very fact that all the, all the discoms, all the utilities in this country are running in huge losses. And, and with the emergence of technology, with the emergence of cloud, with the emergence of smart meters, that particular, all the ATNC distribution losses is, can, be, can be well uh, taken care of. And th that's where the smart, smart, uh, smarter grids are. You talk about medicine, cancer, cancer being a very, very critical uh, and a very, very serious disease. I would talk about of one of the case studies as well of how exactly the cancer is uh, going to be treated by supercomputers which are on the cloud using artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies. In, in, has, this, this has already started and this is going to evolve in, next, in years to come. We talk about financial services, uh, all the loans, as in you, you I, I know all of you must be uh, receiving a lot of emails that you have automatically uh, sanctioned loans. How is that happening? The artificial intelligence and machine learning based algorithms today are analyzing the data. Let's say you have a bank, uh, you, you have an account with the bank and you are doing some transactions with the bank. All the data is captured, they are capturing your Sybil score, they have your PAN number, they have your Aadhaar number, they are tracking the entire history of yours. And everything is completely automated. For a smaller, smaller value of loans, you even do not require, you even do not require the banker's manual intervention. Manual intervention is not required and you automatically get loans. So that's what, it, what, that's what is happening with the, with the help of artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms. And all that is happening on the cloud. Traditional data centers, you talk about, or maybe, uh, maybe the traditional infrastructures. You do not have such capacities of processing uh, uh, petabytes of the data and, and processing it. Artificial intelligence, machine learning cannot happen on a normal Intel or AMD uh, compute. You require uh, compute like uh, capacities like GPU, graphical processing units, and so on. EPU kind of a processors, which can, which can take care of all such processing and, and uh, handle such kind of a load. And that's, that's not possible on, on the infra or on, 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 the, uh, on a captive infra or maybe server-based infra. You require some kind of a sophisticated infra like cloud, wherein you can scale up, scale down uh, whenever you have the requirements, whenever the capacity is, whenever such capacities are required. You talk about education the way metaverse is, is emerging today. You would have the tutor, you would have a tutor sitting, you would, you would be experiencing an environment which would be coming up very soon, wherein the tutor would be sitting like the way physical tutor used to sit with, with, with our kids. So, so that's, that's, what, that's what the business uh, transformation is. And, and, hence, and, hence, and hence I would say cloud, Cloud is the foundation for business transformation. So I, I just mentioned about, uh, about the cancer. Everybody is aware of how uh, severe and uh, dangerous this disease is. Uh, to, to, I don't know if anybody of, uh, anybody of you over here knows about how cancer is treated. So let's say you, talk, you go 10 years back five years back, the way cancer was treated at that time, let's say if you are on a progression, and there, there are stages for the cancer also. If you are, a, on, are on a progression path of, of cancer, you may, you may be taking advice from one doctor or maybe at best from two or three doctors in your circle, or maybe your, some, some relative of yours might be referring it to you. But, but with the emergence of cloud-based artificial intelligence machine learning technology, what is now happening is 
your genome samples or your images, scanned images, are, are now uh, doctors or the medical practitioners are putting up those images in the cloud systems. And on the basis of millions of the images of the patients who might, who had cancer in past, and those images are matched up with, 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 uh, with the images which are available in the database. And with, with the help of the algorithms, practitioner is able to now tell you as to which stage of the cancer you are, you are in and what would be the right prescription or a medicine for you. See, see the change. See, this is what is business transformation. And this was not possible five years, 10 years back when, the, when now with the, with, the, with the emergence of cloud, millions of mind, because there is advices of the millions of the practitioner, doctors who have, who have put up it, who, ha who has put up it in a global database. You are accessing, medical practitioner is accessing th that database. And on the basis, because our body is like, you cannot predict what is happening in our body and cancer might have so many different variants, different stages and different sets. But with, with, with the million of, millions of the images and the samples available, you are able to, your, your medical practitioner is able to diagnose it very effectively. And hence, and, and this is emerging, this is evolving. In this evolution, you are getting better treatment, you are, you are, you are able, uh, uh, practitioner is able to detect it even much earlier uh, than the progression would have actually taken place. So this is, this is what uh, is the business transformation is in, in, in the medical industry. Let's talk about one of the most uh, impressive case studies of the business transformation uh, with respect to Netflix. I hope everybody of you must be knowing about the Netflix. Netflix started early in 2000s or, and so on, late 90, 1990s. Netflix was working on a model of providing rental CDs and DVDs. Uh, I still remember I, when I was in US, I ordered uh, a DVD from Netflix and it took at least three, four days uh, that DVD reached me at that time. After, with, with the emergence of cloud and, and this, this particular way of working was actually very, very difficult for a company like Netflix. This particular case study was, uh, is actually featured in Harvard also, Harvard uh, Business Review magazine also. So it was, it, uh, the company was almost on a dying stage, but with the emergence of cloud, they started providing on-demand data and uh, videos and whatever movies and every content to, to the viewers and uh, their customers. And this, with, in last 15 years, the way cloud has emerged, Netflix, you can see Netflix has become what? Decacon or what even higher, higher than that. So in, in this last 10, in last 15 years, the company is able to acquire millions of customer and they are able, they are able to provide world-class services and with the, with the use of machine learning on the cloud technology, they are now able to predict the user choices, what exactly the user expectations are. And they are now, they are on, and, and on the basis of that, they are uh, giving choices to the users to select on their preferences. And hence, it has increased to more viewing time on Netflix, which has led to higher revenues to Netflix. Everybody before me talked about their respective companies and they were, they were trying to market it. But I came, I came over here with a diff different perspective of sharing my knowledge. So I did not talk a lot about Sci Future, but I would just like to give, th I would like to th put things in perspective about Sci Future. Sci Future is two decade old IT services company. We are having, we are running four, three data centers, one in Noida, Delhi, uh, and another one in Jaipur, uh, and another one in Raipur, and we, we have a plans to expand uh, uh, our data centers across the country. That's what our plans are. Moreover, uh, Everybody in India is talking about make in India, but when you talk about hyperscalers, I don't think anybody, any player is, is so serious 
to give any kind of a competition to AWS, GCP, or Azure. I am not talking about giving any kind of a competition to them as well. What I am talking about, we are on a journey of becoming, on a path of becoming India, make an India-based hyperscaler, and that's a very, very ambitious target we have set for ourselves to expand ourselves globally in 13 locations all over the world and providing services to millions of customers. That's what our plans are today. We, we, we are serving more than 10,000 customers on our, on our data centers and cloud platforms. So with this, I would like to uh, end things over here and would not like to take a lot of time because everybody of you must be excited for going forward for the lunch. Thanks a lot for your time. You have been a receptive audience. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.